Breaking news folks, here's the latest information that you want to know about the Fort Stimulus check, your unemployment benefits, and the social security news. Stay interested in this video folks because this is very important. My Build Back Better bill takes three key steps to lower the cost for families dealing with diabetes. First, we're going to cap cost sharing of for insulin at $35 per month. That means you can't get charged more than 35 bucks at a pharmacy counter for your insulin. It's, that's across the board. Whether you get health insurance through your private policy, the Affordable Care Act marketplace, or through Medicaid, nobody is going to pay more than $35 for each month for insulin. Second, for people who don't have health insurance, we're helping you get insurance. That way, people with diabetes can get protected with that $35 copay cap. People who are uninsured today can visit healthcare.gov to check out the options. The Social Security Administration has announced that it will be sending letters with very important information to the Social Security beneficiaries this month. There is now a total of seven states that are providing Americans with stimulus checks of up to $1,000. So be sure to stay until the end of this video, folks, to find out the most important stimulus news. Now, the SA has announced that in 2022, those receiving benefits from the agency, including Social Security, would see a 5.9% increase reflected in their check. The SA announced that the COLA is calculated, is calculated by looking at the Consumer Price Index, and, it can, and the increase makes history as the highest offered to seniors in over 40 years. And is mostly a result of higher than normal inflation brought on by multiple factors resulting from the crisis. So the SSA has also stated that around 8 million beneficiaries will receive their first check with the COLA applied on December 30th, 2021. More than 64 million Social Security beneficiaries will see their higher payments starting in January 20 based on the SSA's payment schedule. And the Senior Citizens League an organization that advocates for seniors in the U.S. has also noted that over the last few decades, the COLAs applied to Social Security benefits have not kept up with the actual price increases. The annual boost to monthly payments will help go some way toward keeping seniors and disabled recipients from losing purchasing power. But much of this, is in but much of this increase is likely offset by similar rises in cost of goods and Medicare. For that reason, the Senior Citizens League has called on Congress to send a $1,400 stimulus check to those on Social Security. Question. Sure. First, just to go back to Build Back Better, obviously we know that the President is talking about drug pricing in that bill uh, in a few minutes, but, you know, I think the, the big question is still just, you know, where Senators Cinema and Manchin are on this. It has been for months at this point. Um, as, as the President and senior staff work on negotiating with them, are they confident that, that, that something can actually get done in, in these next couple of weeks with those individual people? I know overall the committees can do their work, but it's still been this, there has been this, these sticking points um, for quite some time, and they, don't, they haven't seen in their, in their public uh, comments recently to really be yielding all that much. Um, so how do you handle that from here, and is the president planning on speaking or having them either of those uh, senators over in the, in the next couple of days? We have been in close touch with a range of senators, including the ones you mentioned, uh, at a senior. Now on a different matter. As we begin the first full week in December, of December, there is much that the Senate must attend to before we reach the end of the year. First, Senate Democrats remain committed in taking up and passing President Biden's Build Back Better Act before Christmas. As I outlined in a letter to my caucus this morning, Senate Democrats have been working furiously to clear the necessary steps to achieve this goal. As we all know, the reconciliation process is not an easy one. The reason why this timeline is so important is because this legislation is about lowering costs, lowering costs for American families. As we enter the winter months, American families deserve a little extra help affording things like childcare and pre-K. They need help lowering costs of things like prescription drugs and making health care more affordable. And families need to know that critical programs like the child tax credit will continue uninterrupted. This program has already done immense good for millions upon millions of families. Build Back Better will make sure these benefits stay in place. For these reasons, we're going to continue the process until Build Back Better is signed into law. This is arduous work. 
It takes time, precision, and a lot of pieces moving together. It has taken months of communication, negotiation, countless late nights and weekend work days to bring us to this point. I want to thank my colleagues, their staff, and the parliamentarian for dedicating the full measure of their attention and talent toward this endeavor. We are close, and we will keep going until the job is done. Other Senate priorities. As we continue working on Build Back Better, Democrats will simultaneously address other year priorities as well. First, we'll continue working as necessary to process President Biden's nominations, both to the federal bench and to serve in key posts within his administration. On that front today, we'll begin consideration of a terrific nominee, Jessica Rosenwurzel, tapped by President Biden to serve as chair of the FCC. Ms. Rosenwurzel has already has nearly a decade of experience already as an FCC commissioner and will soon be the first ever woman confirmed to serve as chair, breaking another glass ceiling in our government. She has been a fierce advocate for closing the digital divide, for protecting net neutrality, and when confirmed, Ms. Rosenwurzel will oversee critical federal programs. Bernie Sanders is also asking the White House to cut back your big Medicare premium, which is set to take effect in weeks. In a letter to Biden, Sanders called on the president to act immediately to prevent the portion of an outrageous increase in Medicare premiums. If Biden agreed to Senator Sanders' proposal, a planned January increase of $21 for Medicare, pre for Medicare patients would happen. Now, Biden is planning a speech on the prescription prices, including an annual cap of $2,000 for the out-of-cost, out-of-pocket costs that Medicare recipients have. And there are also some states sending out stimulus checks. For example, states like California, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Florida, Tennessee, and Vermont are all getting their states, are all sending out state stimulus money. And that's good news for many people, because these stimulus checks will definitely help many people out. In Connecticut, there's a back-to-work program that started May 30th, 2021. It's set to end December 31st, 2021. And things like when you applied for unemployment and how long you were on it will impact your eligibility. The payments are worth $1,000 and residents need to have acquired a job. Florida is also paying their teachers and principals $1,000. These funds started going out in August. California started sending out checks to residents that followed the 2020 tax term by October 15th. These residents also made under $75,000 per year. And over 800,000 checks were mailed out on November 29th. These checks are worth $600 to $1,100. Plus, New Hampshire is providing families of three with no income a one-time check worth around $1,000. New Mexico reopened their applications to those with the NICA relief. So it's good, that, it's good that some of our states are sending out stimulus payments because I believe it's definitely necessary. And if you believe that President Biden is doing a good job in sending out the stimulus checks, then I want to know your thoughts. So tell me in the comments below.